Okay. Um, today on the run-up, we're, we're focusing mostly or primarily on uh, youth's participation in politics. So our next guest is also going to be talking about youth's participation in politics and sundry other issues. It is our pleasure to welcome uh, Mr. Demola Sanyolu to the program. He is a media consultant and uh, a public affairs analyst. Welcome to the program, Mr. Sanyolu. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate uh, my coming on this show. I should have added ambassador to it. Your titles are mean, <laughs> so I had to cut them. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> yes. Actually, one of, one of my guests on the show actually said, Demona, you end it. It's not the title everybody picks on the street, so add it to your name. I, I usually don't like all this appellation, but... Mm. Uh, what do I do? What do I know? Yeah, once in a while, let's add something to you. Your, your, it, it has to be a long list. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the show. Well, like we Thank said, you. we're we're focusing on youth participation in politics, and we've seen a tsunami, as it is, of uh, youth's um, excitement, or I don't know the adjectives to even use. But mm -hmm. what would you describe the level of participation of youths? in this electoral process leading up to 2023. Let's begin from there. All right. Um, I'm not surprised. Uh, the, the level of uh, information sharing and information dissemination has changed uh, from times past. And uh, a lot of young folks dominate that information superhighway uh, called the internet. So uh, I'm also an IT person, and I do a lot of feasibility study. I interact with a lot of young people. And the level of information that is being shared, you know, level of information that is being shared is really, really high. So the awareness is now high. Uh, all the, all the uh, meandering, political meandering by the elders is being uh, demystified by the younger generation. So they know that some of the things they claim to have done or that are doing, so, uh, some of these things are lies. So people, within a, sh a twinkling of an eye, somebody will say, oh, uh, debunk a story or do a verification. So the level of participation, level of awareness right now is quite, quite high. And uh, uh, that, that would be my first line of thought uh, concerning youth participation in politics. Awareness is higher and uh, a lot of people want to participate because they are tired of the system. Uh, there seems to be no hope. There seems to be no light at the end of any tunnel, if there was a tunnel in the first place. But uh, people are really discouraged and want to also participate and ensure that their own will is also enshrined. Okay, I, I know that Bayer wants to ask you a question, but, you, you know, the veterans say that mm -hmm. this social media you're mentioning it will count for nothing in 2023. Do you also uh, believe in that? Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of people would say the social media will count for nothing, but I wouldn't say that. Reason being that a lot of conversions are coming in from the social media, uh, a lot of awareness about get your PVC, uh, the campaign, the campaign uh, gimmicks is changing. Oh, uh, social media is not where your voting starts. Please get your PVC. And if you check the INEC record in the recent time, in recent times, you'll discover that the the uh, the spate of registration has changed compared to what it was uh, some years back why because a lot of young folks who are social media savvy who believe in ranting online are also saying i need to also play my role so conversion of social media participation to real participants in the election is is getting higher and the awareness is real right now i i mean i, I belong to so many groups uh, doing the journalism work and uh, consulting for so many people. I was the director of media and publicity for Dr. Shino Fagmero Byron during the 2019 elections, and we tested that area. And we discovered that a lot of young people do not participate because there's a high level of apathy, uh, disenfranchisement, uh, frustration in trying to get your PVC and things like that. So a lot of people say, oh, the vote has already been counted. They know who they want there. So, but right now, uh, you know, a, a, a group of dogs surrounding a snake will intimidate the snake, even if the snake was poisoned. See, uh, before the snake would eat at uh, two or three of them, the others would bite it to death. 
So the awareness has changed, and uh, I can tell you the conversion rate from social media to real participation is uh, awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you for, for that perspective. Um, I was just wondering what your comments would be uh, to the question as to whether the political parties themselves realize the potential influence and impact that the, the younger generation can make going towards 2023, and, and, and to what extent they have created room to accommodate these young people or restructure either their political machinery or the political party themselves to be able to oh. give a platform to young people? Um, th that question is, uh, is, is has several prongs, but I will, I will tackle it from one point of view. Um, poverty is being weaponized in Nigeria, and a lot of older people who, who, who we feel or we, we seem to uh, view as tired or worn out do not want to pass the baton to the younger generation. So most of these political parties use the social media when it's campaign time, but they do not want to convert, <laughs> they do not want to convert the social media uh, critics to followers. Reason being that a lot, of, a lot of social media followers actually do background checks to confirm what they claim to, uh, to have achieved or done in the past. Most of the people who the uh, politicians or the political class want to vote or want to meander or manipulate to vote for them are the illiterates, uh, as it were, sampling from opinions. Are the illiterates, those who don't really know their left from their right, the population of those masses is quite high. So the, the social media people or the um, IT savvy people, we only use that to share information. They use that to share information, but not to convert them because poverty is being weaponized and they weaponize it to use it for the masses, those who, whose population is high and they are those who don't even know anything about the internet. But I believe that uh, uh, this narrative will change over time in Nigeria. Okay, just a final word in, in a very short space of time. Um, what would you have the youth to do if you were to advise them leading to 2023? Because some people say, the momentum with which the NSARS uh, was carried out died after NSARS, and now it is just a commemoration every year on October 20. So what can they do to maintain the energy till 2023 in order to make the desired impact in the political space? Just briefly, please. Okay, briefly. Okay, NSARS, NSARS did not die, actually. Uh, NSARS was just a sampling, testing the waters, and the young people know that, oh, we can actually start our own economy by ourselves. Uh, they've tested it, but some people hijacked it and changed it. But my, my major advice to young people is they shouldn't give up. The, the trend is changing. The, the current is moving, and it's going to move to their turn. But like one of my fathers would tell me, Dr. Shino Fagmerubari would advise me, when you see someone who is older than you doing something wrong, learn from them and don't repeat the same thing. Uh, my advice is don't copy those things you hate seeing them do because uh, the bandwagon effect is that some of these young folks would even be worse than those they claim uh, are not doing anything right. So learn from them and plan to do it better when you, when you, when you get the bait in. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Um, Samuel Luke, for coming on the show. Uh, I would, would like to invite you so many times before the 2023 elections, but for now, we just say thank you to you for being a part of our show this morning. All right, I appreciate coming on the show. Okay, that was Mr. Demola Samuel Lu, uh, a media consultant, um, IT guru, uh, public affairs analyst, like I said, his titles mm -hmm. are very, very, very <laughs> long. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, youths don't give up. Youths don't, don't go back and relax. Youths don't do this. Youths be deliberate and all that. Uh, is, this, is this narrative really sitting with the youths or there's more that we need to do to put it in the minds of the youths that they hold their own destiny in their hands? So that they can be more deliberate, mm. because not all of them are like Richard, for instance. No, 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 definitely. And um, if you if we look around, I don't know if I 
I should mention names. If we look around, let's take Etiosa mm -hmm. here, which is uh, um, part, mostly part of Victoria Island, part of Lekki. You would see that there are two young people running. Mm. At least clearly, two young people. One is incumbent for, for the Federal House of Representatives. One is incumbent. The other is a challenger. And they are young people. One is very well known. is a Nollywood, mm -hmm. <laughs> Nollywood star. The other one is not, okay, but is the son of a politician. Yeah. But they are young people. And, and frankly, I like that. Uh, you know, when I, when I move around, I see their posters. I like, that. I like that because I think indirectly... They are speaking to other young people. Yeah. But now, these are two young people that will be considered as privileged. Okay, mm -hmm. one being the son of a politician, the other one having been given a platform to be popular through what he does. So, so some other young people might say, no, I mean, these ones are known or this one. But Richard mm -hmm. is a good example yeah. of somebody who didn't have that kind of, uh, at least to the best of our knowledge, you know, that kind of exposure before. And he prepared properly, he, he put his money aside, mm -hmm. he was focused, he was determined, he challenged for the position, he didn't get it, right? But he's not undaunted, and he's, he's, he's looked at many, many references. Okay, the president ran several times, this other person. And I think this is the philosophy. And uh, from what Mr. Sonyaulu has added to the whole of this is that learn from the, what the, the older ones are not doing well, but don't repeat it. You learn from that in order to do it better. You know, and then to organize better as well, because this, is, this has been one of the major challenges, proper organization, proper thinking. I think slowly we are getting there. For the next elections, it's all about actually coming to influence the outcome. Yeah. So we are hoping that beyond the next elections, we'll see a lot of young people not just seeking to influence the outcome, but actually be the deciding factor mm. by becoming candidates you know, by influencing the electoral policy and things like that. Mm. So I think the space is opening up. It's just that we need to learn the right lessons in order to be able to do uh, a lot better. Okay, whatever, whatever or whoever you are, there is something you can do to contribute to society. And maybe not just politics, but that thing will give you the platform to become popular. Like Mr. Bayo said, uh, one of them was Nollywood and mm -hmm. a musician and, you know, so because of entertainment, he became popular and he's, he's using his popularity to also gain, get, get political gains, mm -hmm. so to speak. The other person, yes, was born the son of a politician, but we've seen sons of politicians who couldn't come out and be anything. Mm -hmm. We've seen millionaire children uh, or, or children of millionaires who couldn't come out to become millionaires themselves. But we've seen the likes of yeah. David Doe, for instance, yeah. that you cannot in all conscience say that he is what he is because of his father, no matter how mm. wealthy the father might be, but he has carved a niche for himself. Absolutely. So find something you can do to contribute to the society, that same society you would like to serve, because it is there they will use to judge the kind of person you will be on the global or a bigger scene. Well, we'll take a short break.